in this lecture, we are going to see Dijkstra's algorithm for computing the uh, shortest path from uh, a given node S to all the other vertices in the graph. The graph can be uh, directed, it can have uh, a weight function. However, the weight function is restricted to being non-negative. Just like Bellman Ford, uh, which can also handle negative weight functions, uh, Dijkstra's algorithm is quite simple to describe. We start by uh, setting uh, the distance of S to zero and all the other distances to infinity. And uh, here we um, begin uh, uh, by in initializing a, a, a Q to V, all the nodes in the graph. And this Q will be a, a priority Q okay, um, with respect to this distance function uh, D, okay? And as long as the Q is not empty, we're going to extract the minimum from the Q and remove it from the Q, from the Q, so the vertex with minimum distance. And then we are going to relax um, all the neighbors of U. So for each of U in the adjacency list of U, we're going to relax the edge UV by setting again dv to the minimum of dv and d of u plus the weight of the edge uv. Here is an example. Okay. So uh, the beginning, uh, all the nodes are in uh, q, so white and gray are in the q. Um, gray is what you extract from the q and the black nodes will be outside of the q. So at the beginning we extract S and then we're going to relax the edges leaving S. That's these two, these two edges. Okay. Then uh, the minimum now will be um, node Y, which has a distance of five. So we're going to relax uh, all its uh, uh, neighbors. So um, this uh, the node T will now get a distance of eight. Uh, node X will get a distance of 5 plus 9, 14. Node Z will get 5 plus 2, which is 7. Okay. Then again, we extract the minimum, which is uh, uh, Z, 7. We relax all the neighbors. So th that's going to turn this uh, um, 13 in... Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to... It's going to have the distance, it's going to set the distance of x to 13. Then the minimum will be the node t. Um, so we relax again all its neighbors. That's going to, to modify the distance of x. Then we um, extract x. And um, that doesn't do anything. And this is how the algorithm uh, finishes. The running time for Dijkstra, which is uh, the algorithm here, depends on the data structure for Q. So um, the naive implementation without using anything fancy like heaps is just a simple uh, array. And now extracting the minimum will cost you a linear time. And so the running time uh, uh, for this uh, implementation would be uh, v squared plus e. This is just because for every node in the graph, we have to run the extract mean operation because uh, v and e is just to go through all the edges here, overall. Can we do better than this? Of course we can. We saw earlier a much better data structure. Um, so using uh, um, a, a mean heap, we can uh, uh, give a much faster uh, implementation of the queue, which allows us to extract the minimum in time, just uh, logarithmic in the number of uh, nodes. And this will give a total running time for Dijkstra 
of the order of v plus e times log v. And in fact, uh, uh, this can be improved somewhat uh, to v log v plus e, but it's not very interesting to us right now. So up to log factor uh, with this implementation of mean hips, uh, uh, the running time is essentially is, is linear in uh, the input. Why Dijkstra's algorithm is correct? The claim that we make is that when you extract u from the q, then the value d of u will be equal to the true distance delta s of u in the graph. Suppose that's not the case, and let's um, u be the first uh, uh, node that you extract, which does not satisfy this. And let us consider the uh, q right before uh, u extract. Let's take now a shortest path from s to, to u. Uh, s is not in the q. Uh, some other uh, nodes may not be in the q. And then let's assume that uh, y is the first element in the q along this path. Okay. And y o u also is uh, is in the queue because we're just about to extract it. Okay, the first thing to uh, observe is that the uh, distance of x, the, the value d of x is equal to the delta s of x. Why is that? Because x is not in the queue, so it was extracted from the queue, and u was the first violation of this property that, that, that is equal to delta. So all the ones before, that were extracted before, uh, they do satisfy this property here. So d of x is, is equal to delta s of x. Now, d of y is what? Uh, well, when we extracted x, we also relaxed all the edges, right? So d of y will then is set correctly to the distance delta s of y, because again, the edge x goes to y was uh, relaxed. Okay, how does d of y compare to d of u? Well, uh, d of u is at most d of y because d of u is the minimum, right? But uh, um, d of y is equal to delta of s of uh, y, as, as we just uh, remarked. And because we took things along the shortest path, delta of s of y is at most delta of s of u. And this uh, um, concludes our proof.